Hi everybody and welcome back to MD Fly Fishing. Long time no videos, well most of my waters are quite low level. Even Pennine was closed during the month of September and only reopened mid-October, so off to Pennine it was. Just a quick one, as a lot of you might know, I've been selling some of my smaller crisp packet buzzers, the reds, the silvers, the yellows, and uh, they're doing quite well. But the most thing that amazed me all is all the feedback I'm getting from people that are having a fantastic time catching on them. Some of them saying, you know, all I caught that day was with your buzzers. Other people saying, your buzzers ruined my day because I was on a two fish limit and I caught my two fish and there was no catch and release. I apologise about that. I didn't think they'd do that well actually because they've only been out about eight weeks. But as of yesterday, I've actually posted out 1,420 of them. I'm working on a, another variant, but that's for later. So I went out to Pennine. I was going primarily to fish stalking bug. People were there already. They were catching on Pennine biscuits and worms under bungs. But I've done videos on them. So I thought, I'll go do a stalking bug. George was out there using his famous stalking bugs and catching some decent fish. I was in an area using it and it, it wasn't working. So when Jed, hi Jed if you're watching, one of my followers was at the water, came around to have a chat to me. So I said, you know what I'm going to switch to? I'm going to switch to a white snake. There was a, a nice gentleman that I first met there on my first couple of visits called Derek Horsfield. And sadly, Derek's passed away now, but he, he took the time and effort and came over to see me because he knew I wasn't catching. He says, here, have one of these. Gave me a snake. He said, get it on intermediate line. Seven, eight foot leader, straight through, eight pound, cast it out. Keep a straight line. Let it drop through the water, just gently very very small figure of eight to keep it in line because the fish will take on the drop once it's on the bottom strip it back one long pull wait one long pull wait and i did that so i remember in his words he also said um, don't be afraid if it's just under the water strip it back really fast so i switched on to snakes white snakes and so did jed and we both caught up to that point, I wasn't doing really well. Um, I thought I was going to blank, so off onto the snakes, and the snakes yeah, saved the day for me. So thanks very much, Derek. So this first fish, again, um, it took the fly as it was coming out, because I'd let this one drop really deep, and just did a bit of a roly-poly on it. I'd done the pull and wait, pull and wait. I'd done a fast figure of eight. Just very retrieved, because the weather was it was sunny, we got rained on, the wind came in, and there were a few fish showing on the surface, but not the amount of fish that are in this water. There are loads of fish in this water. So I think it might have been a bit to do with air pressure getting them down. As I say, some of the people were catching with the old Pennine biscuits on the top, but fish were showing on the top, but not in great abundance. Uh, as I say, there's tons of fish in here. So that's why I went on for a snake should position my camera a bit better and the sun straight behind me so that was a keeper about four and a bit pounds again the fish were moving around this one here this was about four or five pound it came past me two or three times. I put the snake in front of it. Say, go on, let's see if you're gonna, let's see if you're gonna get this. But uh, no, this was, this is one of George's favourite places here, and um, and it, I forgot to bring my polarised glasses as well because Jed pointed out a few big fish, I couldn't see them. But anyway. Uh, I actually thought to myself, if that comes past again, I'm going to net it just to see. It was going straight back in. It didn't come out of the water, how easy it was, and uh, I netted it. I thought, oh, I don't believe this. This fish, I don't even need to bring a rod next time, but that would be unlawful and not the correct way of catching trout. So it was released again without any, just to prove a little point. That's all I did that for. So we decided then, right, let's do a bit of surface action. Let's see if there's any fish in the top two or three foot. So out it went, let it settle, and then started just bringing it back in. And within about five, six seconds, fish on. It tore into that snake, but it came in quite quickly. Overall, I landed this fish within about a minute. Got it into the side, just let it fight. Just brought it in, no excess, force on the fish whatsoever it was coming towards me i was just keeping that line 
nice and tight. I was only on about, I'd say, an eight pound leader. And again, another decent four pound fish. So the snakes made up for the day. Otherwise, I think I would have been on a plank. I had one or two pulls when it was on the drop, but I wasn't waiting for them. I didn't expect them. But anyway, short video, going out again next week. Thanks very much for watching, guys. Uh, I've got a few more bits and pieces coming up. But thank you very much for watching, everyone, and I'll catch you later.